Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will show the effect of having the trans transformers in the power system. So in the previous video, we calculated this system. So we had the generator or source, we had the short transmission line represented by RL parameters, and we have the uh, uh, RL uh, load. So, and we calculated the, the uh, current here. And as you see, we have a single loop circuit. So we have only one current, which is the same as the source current. It will be the same as the line current and the same as the load current. And we saw that this current is equal to 90.79. And uh, if you square this current and multiply it by the value of the resistor here in the transmission line, which is 0 0.18 ohms, you will have the value of the lost power in the transmission line. And if you deduct uh, the amplitude of this voltage from the amplitude of this voltage, you will get the approximate value of the voltage drop, which is in this case is 26.2 volts. And here you see the power loss is 1483 uh, 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 watts. So first of all, before modifying this system, I will write here, uh, that we have case one, which is the case without the transformers. And uh, in case one, what we have here, P uh, loss is equal to, uh, this value was uh, 14, I guess, uh, 82 watts. We will double check that. And the uh, V load, which is the voltage across the load, is equal to uh, 453.8. 453.8 uh, uh, volts, which means that the voltage drop across the transmission line is equal to 26.2, uh, 26.2 volts. Okay, so let me, uh, okay, I should, uh, okay, let me type it again. So uh, P loss is 1483. So this will be case one, case one. So P loss is equal to uh, 1483 watts. And uh, the voltage drop, I will write the voltage drop uh, directly, is uh, equal to 26 uh, point, uh, two volts. Okay, and I will click enter. Okay, so uh, if you type that and then you click enter, so it will be just like a comment somewhere here. And you can, of course, uh, move it, drag it wherever you want. So this will be our uh, first case uh, with, uh, in which we have a power system without uh, transformers. So the lost power uh, in the transmission line is 1483 watts and the voltage drop, approximate voltage drop, will be 480 minus 453.8, which will be 26.2 volts. So what I need to do here is to add the transformers to the system. So usually we have a step up transformer after the generator and a step down transformer before the, uh, trans before the load, after the transmission system, before the load. So let's uh, have uh, this transformer and this transformer is called the linear transformer. So you type linear and then uh, you will have a linear transformer. So now I have uh, a linear transformer. So in this linear transformer, we need to do some modifications in order to make it uh, as close to the ideal transformer as possible. So we, uh, 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 we bring uh, a linear transformer here. Here is the linear transformer, as you see. And as you see here, we have one primary coil and two second, uh, two, one secondary coil, coil and one tertiary coil. So we have uh, two secondaries, uh, or we have a secondary and tertiary coils. Uh, and since we have only one side at the primary side and one side at the secondary side, so the first thing that I need to do is to double click on this transformer and uh, uncheck this box. So if you uncheck it, rewinding transformers and do apply, you will see now it has only one primary side and uh, one secondary side. So you have one primary and one secondary. 
And what we need to do is also to switch from PU, which is the per unit values, to SI, which is the standard international values. So now we are switching to the standard international values, where our, uh, the values are given in watts, in hertz, in volts, in ohms, in henrys, and uh, uh, so they are the actual values. So as you see here, the first data is the nominal power, so I will leave it as it is, and the frequency, I will not change anything. So what I need to change, I want to change with uh, winding one uh, uh, parameters. <clears throat> so for winding one parameter, so first of all, I need to have the value of uh, V1 in RMS. And according to our system, this V1 in RMS is uh, 480 volts. <clears throat> and for the, the second value is R1 in ohms. So as you know that the ideal transformer has no resistance value, so I will put it something closer to zero. I will not write zero exactly because MATLAB will not accept a zero value. So I will do a very small value like this. I will give a small value. Again here, a small value for the inductance of the first coil. For the second coil, so we need to raise the voltage by 10 times. So if the input voltage is 480 and you need to raise it by 10 times, to step it up by 10 times, so it will be 4,800. So this will be the voltage at the secondary side. And also we need to give a very small value for the resistance and a very small value for the inductance. So I give these values in order to uh, uh, let's say, uh, let the transformer behave, uh, behave as uh, an ideal transformer. So I do apply, I do okay. So this transformer uh, is already uh, ready to be connected at the generator side because it's a step up transformer. So I will write here transformer one to uh, 10. So this uh, the transformation ratio one to 10. So now I will bring this transformer here, okay. So I will uh, make some space. And now we need to connect uh, the generator to the transformer. And then uh, we will connect the transmission line. So what I need to do here is to connect the generator to the primary side of the transformer. And then the secondary side will be connected to the transmission line. Okay, and then I will connect the other one when we have the other transformer. I need to have a current source in order to measure the current uh, uh, at the generator side. So let me have this current source and uh, I will connect it uh, here. Okay, let me delete this line first. Okay, now I will connect it here and I will connect it from the other side. As you see here, the current source is connected. I need, of course, uh, to have a display to measure this current source. So I will copy this display and uh, paste it here. So this is the current source, uh, uh, sorry, the current measurement device that is uh, 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 measuring the generator current or the source current. So I will have here a uh, generator, generator current. Okay, so here now I have the generator current measured by this measurement device, current measurement device. I will uh, do it like this up a little bit. So I see that I have uh, uh, some connection, which is uh, not uh, nice. So let me do it like this now. Okay, so I have the generator current, I have the voltage source, I have the current here measured in amperes. Everything looks fine. Okay, we have two values. Okay, I will change it. So I will write here I generator, I generator, which is measured in amperes. And then we can delete this name in order to make the system a little bit visible. And this, uh, uh, I will, this will be the line current, so it will be I line, 
and it is measured in ampere so we can also delete this uh, uh, name for the measurement uh, current measurement block okay so now we have everything uh, arranged at the generator side now we need to do the same at the uh, load side so we need to have a distribution transformer so what i need to do is i will copy this transformer and then i will paste this transformer here so what we need to do is uh, to go inside transformer i do double click i now the uh, input voltage will be 4800 uh, 4, volts while the output voltage will be uh, or the scattering voltage will be 4480 volt and now i do apply i will keep the parameters as they are here so now i'm connecting this uh, uh, transformer to the load side so the uh, transmission line will be connected to the input of the transformer and uh, we can now connect the two transformers together And uh, uh, now the load should be connected to the secondary side of the transformer. So I need here also a current measurement device to measure the current. So let me connect the other side. <coughs> and let me copy a current measurement device. So I need to copy this and then I will do paste. So this will be the current measurement device. Okay, so what I have here, I can connect uh, it. Uh, in series with the load connected in series with the load. okay so here we have the current measurement uh, in device i will uh, uh, have a display here so let me copy this display and uh, i will paste it here somewhere and this will be i load so let me complete this word i load and it is measured in amperes okay and then i can delete this name in order to make it uh, to make the circuit uh, it's uh, uh, more uh, clear okay <clears throat> I need to replace uh, all the names by space. It's up, up to you, of course, uh, to keep it uh, uh, with names or without names. Uh, so it's up to you. Okay. So now we have uh, this transformer should be with the 10 to 1, right? So this will be 10 to one. So because it's a step down transformer. So this is the load. So let me move the load a little bit here. Okay. So what we have, let's double check this system before uh, running it. So what we have here, we have uh, the system to be solved in phasor domain we have the source uh, uh, or the generator 480 at zero angle so its current will be calculated here so let me select uh, the magnitude angle option apply okay so i will see the current uh, with its angle so this will be i generator a so this is a step up transformer one to ten here we will have the load current the magnitude of the load current so uh, the line current and it will be squared multiplied by the resistance. So this will be in the loss power. And then uh, on the other side, we have a step down distribution transformer that steps down the voltage by 10 times. So it will be uh, 4,800 uh, to 480. Uh, and here we have the load. So the load current will be measured here. And also let's have the load current measured in magnitude angle option, apply okay and the voltage uh, the volt uh, uh, the voltage across the load will be measured in using this uh, 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 voltage measurement device okay so these this is the system and it looks uh, uh, fine for me so let's uh, run the circuit and see whether everything is uh, fine okay okay uh, it seems that everything is fine here so let's uh, have a look so what we have 
So we have a source voltage, the generator, and uh, it has a voltage of 480 at zero angle. And then, uh, as you see, we have, we are measuring the generator current, I generator, and I generator is uh, 95.68 into an angle negative 36.89. Okay, and we have a transformer that transforms the voltage by uh, step the voltage by 10 times. And this means that the current will be decreased by 10 times. And of course, if I compare this current, which is uh, 98 uh, amperes with this current, which is 9.5 amperes, I see that this current is decreased by 10 times, exactly by 10 times because this transformer is performing uh, as an ideal transformer because we, decrease the and the parameters that we have uh, for the transformer for the windings of the transformer and of course we take this the magnitude of this current uh, squaring it multiplying the, by the value of the resistance and here we have uh, the lost power for the second transformer it's a step down transformer so it should decrease the voltage by 10 times and thus the current will increase by 10 times and I see that the current here is 95.9.5 amperes, and here the current is 95 amperes, which means that the current has been decreased by 10 times. And if you look at the current at this side and the current at this side, you will see that it's almost the same current with the same phase angle. And what we see here, we see that the voltage is 478.9, at this angle, which means that uh, and the voltage drop, if you compare it with the source, we see that the voltage drop is uh, much less. So now I want to type uh, for case two, the same thing for case two. So for case two, where I'm using the transformers, so I have P loss to B. Uh, okay, so I need to see what is P loss here. 1648. So for case two, we have P loss uh, equal to uh, uh, 1648 uh, watts. And uh, we see that the voltage drop is equal to the difference between the amplitude. So we have here 480 minus uh, 478.9. It will be 1.1 volts so it will be 1.1 volts as you see that we have only uh, uh, one volt uh, voltage drop one volt uh, of the voltage drop so let's compare these two cases so what we see here we see that if you have uh, the power system without a transformer you will have a large power loss uh, in the transmission line and uh, a large voltage drop across the transmission line. And if you have a power system with the transformers, so the lost power is decreased significantly. And as you see, it's almost by 10 times or nine times. And then the voltage drop uh, is decreased also uh, significantly. So this is why we use uh, transformers in the power system. So this uh, can represent an entire power system. So here we have the generating part a generator with a step up transformer here we have the transmission uh, part uh, with a short transmission line since it's represented only by rl parameters and here we have uh, the distribution uh, part with a distribution transformer step down transformer with uh, the load connected uh, across uh, that transformer so this is uh, uh, what we have in this uh, part of the uh, or in this uh, video so as you see, the entire power system is calculated and uh, compared uh, with the previous case, which is the same power system, but without the use of transformers. So from this uh, video, we can, of course, uh, 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 clearly understand the uh, importance of having transformers in uh, the power uh, system, in the power system. Okay, so this is uh, everything about this video. I hope uh, uh, the idea is clear behind this video uh, and see you in next videos.